Hello. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army, Marine, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard values. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Today we're here to honor several people who, for one reason or another, have been brought to Riverside National Cemetery and to other national cemeteries across our nation and left by the family or by the agency in charge of their 
remains to be buried at that National Cemetery. Families nor anyone else rendered honors to them. At one time during the past, they raised their hand and swore allegiance to the United States of America. And at that time, they stated that they would defend this country from all enemies from within and from without. The moment they raised that hand, we promised them that we would be there with them at the end. We are brothers and sisters from different mothers and different fathers, but we all have one thing in common. We're a member of the greatest minority this world has ever seen, the United States veteran. We don't know why they were left behind. Sometimes the family turns their back on our vet. Sometimes the vet turns his family, his back against his family. And then like several of them, they just outlived their family. Later the family may be found, and at least they can come and pay homage to their loved one here at this cemetery. Today we are honoring Frank Melendez, United States Army, Joseph Sankumani, United States Army, Carl Gluckson, United States Army, Ralph Lee, United States Army, Isaac Navarro, United States Army, and George Milton, United States Army. Rich Blackaby, who's now one of our members up in Colorado Springs or Fort Carson area, has asked that we also remember Airman First Class James Carlisle served in the United States Air Force during Korea, 1950-1955, age 73. He has been cremated and will eventually be buried at a national cemetery in uh, Texas, but for now he's uh, a waiting family to pick him up. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see uh, all of you here today. And um, I hope I picked out the right one. Too many pockets sometimes get me in trouble. Anyway, as this week we approach Easter. We recall the resurrection of Jesus and his ascent into heaven. But we also look at this magnificent event as a renewing of life when we die. Um, we are in spring. And um, spring just is just a renewal of everything around us. It just reminds me that, that also it's a renewal of life here on earth and uh, and I can't help but thinking that I just got a text a minute ago before we started asking me because it's spring and baseball is is going full bore if I would like to go back to Cooperstown and be involved in a week-long tournament which is a great honor so that was pretty cool anyway the heroes that we lay to rest today also have also ascended into heaven, and they will no longer have to worry about, about the earthly bodies, which um, get old, are fragile, and as many as all of us know, Greg, <laughs> these things are, you know, these things get a little bent and broken and bruised and 
And uh, they don't have to worry about that anymore. They're now in, they're now with their new bodies, nothing, nothing is making them ill. They don't want to get out of bed for fear that, you know, am I going to be able to walk right for a while? Some of us know that, get out of bed and it takes us an hour or two before we're actual, actually almost walking non pro magnum man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, so sometimes, you know, we do look forward to it, saying, you know, hey, you know what? I'm getting old, my body hurts, you know. Take me, so that way I, I don't have to worry about this anymore. For the heroes that we honor today, we don't know what happened, how they passed, what illnesses they had. Um, it could have could have been just loneliness. It could have been cancer. It could have been just a number of numerous things. But it shouldn't really matter. We can go on. We can worry. We can think about you know what what caused these young men to pass on. It doesn't matter. We can now rejoice in their departure from this life on earth to a new life with their Lord. That their bodies no longer hurt. They're no longer feeling headaches. They're no longer feeling any pain. They're rejoicing in brand new bodies. Just like the roses that are just blooming in front of my house. The, the, the flowers that we see in your yards, in your neighbor's yards, as you're envying, envying their men and their fine trim lawn and say, ah, why can't my grass grow like that? You know, it's spring. It's spring. It's a time for renewal for each of us as it is for the ones that pass on. What we can do is celebrate their lives and honor their duty to God and country. We can look at each day as we wake up as renewal. That is forget. <clears throat> forget what took place yesterday. Because yesterday doesn't matter anymore. We don't have to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow brings enough troubles of its own. But we can rejoice in today. We can rejoice in the day that God has given us today. And we can call that a present. So just take this day, take this week, as we think about it, as Easter is coming, Easter Sunday, and just rejoice in spring, in the renewal of that every day that we have in this beautiful country, and just say, you know what, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done for us. And thank you, gentlemen, for what you've done for this great nation. For our hearts in prayer. Father God, we just praise you and we thank you for this lovely day, this lovely spring day. We just look for many more to come. Lord, we just ask that you comfort the hearts of the families that couldn't be here today. We comfort the hearts of those that are just finding out that their loved one has passed. We ask that you comfort the hearts and give hope and keep the faith of our troops serving this great country around the, around, the, around the world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He was just a common soldier and his ranks are growing thin, but his presence should remind us we may need his like again. For when countries are in conflict, then we find the soldier's part is to clean up all the trouble that the politicians start. If we cannot do him honor while well, he's here to hear the praise, then at least let's give him homage at the ending of his days. Perhaps just a simple headline in the paper that would say, Our country is in mourning. A soldier died today. Amen.